Okay, here I am with my small flock of chickens and roosters. Obviously, these are roosters, these are chickens. And you can see that I've got quite a different and eclectic variety of birds. And so <clears throat> I essentially started off my chicken uh, flock with some uh, game hens, which are just kind of a, uh, a mutt breed that they... Uh, this readily available out here in the country. And I also found somebody that was raising what are called Easter eggers. And I didn't know what that was at the time, but if you look, I still have one and she's the one that's right back there, the kind of the brownish uh, walking right there. And the interesting thing about Easter eggers is that they lay colored eggs, uh, bluish green or to green. They can be even sometimes pinkish. Uh, and so the fact that they lay these multicolored eggs, uh, hence the name Easter Egger, which is an appropriate name for this weekend, uh, actually. So uh, she's one of my older birds, and so she doesn't lay as often as she did when I first got her, but she will lay blue eggs. Now, what goes into deciding what kind of breeds to raise? Well, the first thing you need to consider is, are you raising chickens for eggs or for meat or for both? I really primarily am interested in the eggs, not so much the meat, although as an, uh, a bird will age, you can and should cull the older birds because they're obviously not producing as much and you know they're, they're taxing you on your feed system. So it's better to cull them and it's, you do it in a humane way, but then you also get the meat from those birds. And in, and in most cases, the meat is, is perfectly fine. But if you're trying to do it for commercial purposes, you really need to think about if it's really a meat breed or if it's an egg breed or if it's a dual breed. Now, if it's a dual breed, you're probably gonna get a little bit of both, but you know, not the best of each. So if you really wanna go for eggs, I would say get an egg laying breed that's known for egg laying. If you, and by that, I mean that they lay a lot of eggs throughout the year, they're very consistent. Uh, some breeds don't lay that many eggs. And, um, you know, if you get a really good breed, you, you can, they may lay a, an egg a day. Those, there's one called the death layer bird, and that bird will lay an egg a day. There's others that may lay 150 eggs a year. You know, out of 365 days, they're going to lay about half the time. So you really need to figure out what the breed is. Um, second consideration you need to figure out is do you want to raise heritage breeds, which are breeds that are pure, kind of like purebreds, or hybrids? And so you might think, well, why would I want to raise hybrids? Well, the thing about hybrids is you can, you can breed in a lot of things that are helpful for you. Uh, one of the things I realized when I started raising chickens is that when you have eggs that you try to raise on your own, and I'll do a separate video on that, um, you get a lot of little baby chicks and they all look the same. And you think, oh, great, I got a lot of little hens. And then you get to about, you know, week... Uh, week uh, 13 to 15 and you're like, oh goodness, I've got half roosters and half hens. Well, what's the problem with that, you say? Well, when you have a lot of roosters and you can see I have a lot right now that I need to probably to cull a little bit, um, they are, you know, very dominant. They're going to attack the hens. And if one, one is trying to mate with a hen, then the other ones want to go in and try to mate with her as well. So it becomes very aggressive. Uh, they make a lot of noise <laughs> and, um, uh, you know, if you're in an urban environment, that may not be ideal. So some breeds can be what are called sex linked, which means that you can tell at birth if the chick is a, is a male or a female by certain markings on the back of the chicken. And they, those markings have been bred into those hybrid breeds. So some people like that because they can say, oh, I got a bunch of roosters. I need to get rid of those early rather than feeding them until I figure out what they are. Uh, the next thing you need to figure out is temperament. You can see that all of my ladies are, are very calm and my gents are very calm. They're not um, too excitable. They're, they're coming close to me. That's a good temperament. That's what I like. I don't want birds that are real flighty or real aggressive. Um, so that's what I look for. And, you know, the last thing you need to consider is, of course, you know, color. Do you like certain look or do you want a certain color egg? Uh, you know, there's a lot of those kinds of considerations. And there's lots of resources on the web that can help guide you in that regard. But um, I'm basically running uh, a flock of, of a bunch of different breeds. The black ones that you see that have kind of the iridescent green, those are black copper maron chickens. 
and they're a French breed. Uh, if I can show you here, you can see that they have feathered legs, uh, and that is a that is a French standard to the breed. That's a that's a black copper maron rooster right there, and that's a black copper maron hen. You can see the difference in in uh, coloration. I also have these are two different breeds. This one here is a cuckoo maron. Uh, and the one that you just ran away that looked dissimilar is a barred Plymouth Rock. So a barred Plymouth Rock is actually good for both meat and eggs. And the Cuckoo Maran is, uh, again, it's a, it's a Maran breed, a, a French breed, but it does not, does not have feathered legs. And it's good for, it's good for um, laying brown eggs, but, uh, but I just liked the, the, the coloration on it. And, and that kind of, you know, gray and white striping is called barring b-a-r-r-i-n-g or or bard b-a-r-r-e-d and so i just like the look of it and so I've, I've got some some game hens here these are game hens and then uh, my easter egger i showed you earlier she's back there um, and those light colored ones are game hens too and these here i actually uh raised on my own these white ones they were a mixture of an easter egger and a, a white leghorn rooster that I had a while back. And if you can see that it's got kind of bluish legs. And interestingly, these have gained the gene to lay blue eggs as well. So these white ones, although they don't look like they would, they're, they're kind of a, a mutt. They lay uh, colored eggs as well. So that's what I did for my chickens. I primarily chose mine for egg color and egg production. The black copper maron chickens are known for laying darker brown eggs, but they lay fewer. Uh, but I like the, the color variation. Uh, the Easter eggers lay a decent amount of eggs and they're different colors, but they're kind of a mutt breed. And then um, the uh, game hens lay brown eggs too. And the barred Plymouth rocks lay brown eggs. And I like the brown eggs over the white eggs. I, like, I just like the way that they look. And the people that I give them to think they look pretty neat as well. And I'll show you kind of what I get in terms of egg production here in a minute in a different video.